In the world of blockchain, periodically we have waves of enthusiasm and innovation where new ways of implementing and leveraging this technology is explored by an increasing number of people who include, of course, developers, investors, users, experimenters of all kinds. We are now at that point of enthusiasm and one of the new innovations that uh, I would like to call your attention to and invite you to experiment with is BitCloud. BitCloud, as of this recording, is barely two weeks old. But already about 100,000 people signed up to play with it, even though up to a couple of days ago the website was password protected. BitCloud is based on a blockchain with a native token, which is BitCloud, and the user interface as of today looks very much like Twitter. You can post, you can reply, you can like, and there are users that you can follow and be followed by them. The big difference is that each account in turn has its own native currency. Very simply, the symbol of that native currency is the dollar sign followed by the name of the account. I have an account on BitCloud. The name of the account is David Orban and the native currency of that account is dollar sign David Orban. BitCloud calls these creator coins. Now, we have been speaking about the creator economy for a long time and of course there are truly a lot of genuinely artistic and valuable creators, some of them achieving the level of uh, financial support uh, through their agreements with publishers uh, or uh, distributors that allows them to concentrate on what they love to do and what their fans love them to do. Write songs, publish novels, come up with new video games, and there are orders of magnitude more, three, four, five, six orders of magnitude more, who would like to be able to dedicate themselves to those activities, but they can't because for a million writers, there is one that achieves bestseller status. Well, unless you buy yourself the few thousand books that are needed in order to become a bestseller, right? And the reality is that a lot of people would be able to be much more creative if they were able to dedicate the time to it, if they were able to cultivate uh, their budding passion, budding talent. Admittedly, there are people whose talent and passion is so boundless, uh, it cannot be stopped and, and it doesn't matter how poor they are, how isolated they are, how hopeless they are to be known and recognized, they will still create incredible value, potentially to be recognized only long after they are dead and uh, tragic stories uh, to be told about their lives. But yeah, that is not to be emulated. So we should find new ways to encourage creativity, even more so in a world uh, where AIs are going to automate many activities in the cognitive occupations, in the white collar jobs, uh, so that we don't have to waste our time in doing repetitive mechanical steps 
uh, that our computers a few years ago were not smart enough to do in our place. Now that they are, we should feel thrilled to be freed to pursue truly human things that make us passionate and connect us with so many others. Now, we already have a few platforms. For example, Patreon. And a shout out to those wonderful people who support me and my team on patreon.com slash David Orban. You are welcome to do so and keep doing so. The donations on Patreon that fans uh, of creators of many different kinds provide can make a huge difference. There are a large number of people who have been able to dedicate themselves to what they love because the people who love what they do allowed them to do so on that platform, and there are others too. Now, on BitCloud, what you can do is to put money in the creator coin of the people you like and you follow. And that, of course, will spur them to keep doing what they do and what you love. But rather than just having that as a return, and of course it is the most important and substantial return, on top of that, you will have a potential financial return as well. And the reason is because as more people put in money in the creator coin of a given account, the value of that account will go up. Now, when anyone decides to sell the creator coin, the value of that coin will go down. So, as you see, BitCloud created a market in the consensus of the value around an individual. And if you are a sports star, um, an entertainment uh, VIP, uh, a, a music, music, musicist, uh, a songwriter, a singer, um, you will find millions of people who follow you, for example, today on Twitter. And these people may follow you on BitCloud as well, and they may invest in your creator coin. A lot of things still have to be explored and understood around BitCloud. Unsurprisingly, given that the platform is only two weeks old. They raised $180 million last time I checked, including uh, top Silicon Valley venture capital firms. And they are run by a pseudonymous a team of developers, uh, some of whom have been identified, others uh, uh, have uh, self-identified. And the system is decentralized. So bitcloud.com is merely an interface representing the reading of the transactions on the platform. Who posted what, who followed whom, who liked what, who bought the a creator coin of whom, who sold the creator coin of whom, what is the content of a wallet uh, with all the creator coins that someone thinks are valuable or will appreciate uh, in time. And alternative user interfaces and visualizations are sprouting with unprecedented speed. Dozens of teams are working on BitCloud-based applications, some of them oriented towards the financial implications, others differently. Why does BitCloud matter? In social media, it is one of the first business models that may be able to break the monopoly of the advertising-based models which we are suffering under and which Google and Facebook and Twitter and every other social media 
platform that reached hundreds of millions or billions of people were not able to shed. Because on BitCloud, which is again a decentralized blockchain-based network, you are free and you use it for free, but nobody needs to sell your data. Well, first of all, because your data is public. BitCloud is transparent. There are private messages, and these are indeed not visible to the outside world, but at least as of today, apart from that, everything else is pretty much accessible and tools will be developed to make it even more immediately uh, accessible and usable. And on the other hand, the platform doesn't need advertisers to give it money. The people who transact on it, who invest on it, who put uh, uh, money in the creator coins of uh, the people and the creators they love are supporting the platform. Do you remember how many times you were wondering, oh, if only Facebook had a paid version so that there would be no advertising and I would know that my data would not be sold to advertisers. If anything, you can think of BitCloud as that, where you are not compelled to pay, you are driven to pay because you want to support the creators you love. Other aspects of uh, BitCloud are also important. If indeed human relationships and human creativity uh, come to the forefront in an age of AI and automation, then yes, supporting creators and creatives directly rather than supporting the distributors, the labels, the publishers is the right thing. It gives them freedom. It gives them the opportunity to keep creating. And the markets that BitCloud creates are extremely interesting. Think about what can be built on top. For example, rather than a creator having to sell the coins, it could do like David Bowie did uh, 20 plus years ago, securitize and collateralize its creator coin in a DeFi layer decentralized finance layer, guaranteeing a loan with those coins whose value the creator believes will be stable or increasing, and use the liquidity to embark in a new project that will further uh, create positive feedbacks. Or let's think about what kind of incentives this system will create. If we crave the likes on Facebook or, or Twitter or Instagram, imagine the kind of craving that could derive from these uh, actions, or more precisely, the action of your fans buying your creator coin could uh, engender, and the potentially negative consequences of seeing your creator coin crash because uh, someone sold it or because a new version of the cancel culture or uh, recognizing an intolerable uh, mistake uh, you made in a late night post um, bands together and sells your coin to make it crash. What will our reactions be? There are a lot of things that we will have to discover. I think that BitCloud will explode. Well, there are two directions that it can explode towards. Either become very, very big and important and potentially, why not, eclipse Facebook or self-destroy in some unexpected way because a bug is found in the 
blockchain or, or some other reason. It is very, very early. But when I would say uh, that, uh, yeah, every corporation will have its own cryptocurrency, <laughs> I was too timid. As my friend Babele Dunnit pointed out to me yesterday, we now know that there will be billions of cryptocurrencies attached to each individual, potentially multiple cryptocurrencies attached to each individual. And in one of the next episodes of The Context, I will tell you why actually we are going to be talking about not a few billion, but hundreds of billions of cryptocurrencies based on the kind of thinking and paradigm that BitCloud now enabled us to start imagining. So I don't want you to invest in my creator coin. If you do so, I will be honored and I have no idea whether you will be making a good choice or not. I don't want you to invest in the creator coin of anyone else, but I do want you to get your hands dirty, to check it out, to invest 10 minutes, 15 minutes, a little bit of time to experience and to start understanding the implications of BitCloud. Let me know what you think. Is it a dystopia like uh, in one of the episodes of uh, uh, Black Mirror that you may have seen that uh, tries uh, to vaccinate us against those future scenarios where very bad things could happen based on this technology or similar ones? Is it going to be the flourishing of a new renaissance of creativity supported by millions of fans who are engaged and excited uh, about what BitCloud can mean for their creators and the financial returns for them? We don't know yet, but if you don't start to understand, please don't complain in a year's time or in five years time that you feel left out and how privileged uh, the others were, how unfair the exclusivity uh, of this inequality. Listen, check it out. I'm looking forward to meet you on BitCloud. Send me a message, post something, make yourself known. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.